what's up everyone it's dave and guess what we're no longer at location x we are at location texas so uh, yep we're back home so we're going to be doing uh, a more broad range of our our videos again but anyways our first one i wanted to start you off with i mentioned it in one of our bible readings about the unboxing of my new bible so this is the Reformation Study Bible, R.C. Sproul, General ed uh, Editor, and um, the New King James Version. So I did get this off Amazon, so the link will be down below. And uh, we're just going to kind of look through it real quick and just see what it has to offer. All right. So I'm going to change the uh, camera angle. So stand by. All right, so let's see how this works out. So this is the R.C. Sproul Reformation Bible. There we go. Got it there. And then it's a nice, thick Bible. So the Reformation Study Bible. There you go. R.C. Sproul, General Editor, New King James Version. And on the back, so we have the Reformation Study Bible. The Bible is not like any other book because its ultimate author is God. As the psalmist prayed in Psalm 119, 18, open my eyes that I may see wonderful things from your law. The new Reformation Study Bible emphasizes the need for the grace of God to lead out of darkness and into the light of scripture. The Reformation Study Bible is carefully crafted to offer an unparalleled reading, study, and discipleship experience for every age and stage of the Christian life. And then it goes on to highlight these things, uh, faithful scholarship and commentary, thoroughly revised and expanded study aids, and new study tools and visual helps. So you can read those things there. You can pause the video if you'd like, but so we're going to look at them on the inside to see exactly what all is offered. So, all right. So let's go ahead and open this up. So this has a texture to it. I don't know if you hear that. So there we go. All right. I don't know how heavy it is, but it's heavy. <laughs> All right. So the first thing that we have here. Welcome to the Reformation Study Bible little pamphlet. I'm going to put my glasses on. So first thing, this is not a large print or giant print edition. I don't think, I don't even know if they make a large print study edition Bible. But anyways, um, there we go. All right. Open my eyes that I may see the wondrous things from your law. Psalm 119, 18. So really, so obviously I'm not going to go deep into this, but this just shows the contents that are in here. That way you, I do want you to read that. But uh, welcome from R.C. Sproul. Uh, what was the Reformation? The Five Solas. History of the Reformation Study Bible. Igniting a Bible Study Reformation. A redefined reading experience. Study notes. Theological notes. Maps and visual aids. Really curious about that one. Creeds and Confessions. Uh, I think it's got like the Apostles' Creed and stuff like that in there. Um, topical articles, contributors, and your new resource library. So, for those of you who don't know who R.C. Sproul is, that is R.C. Sproul's. Um, unfortunately, I think he passed away in 2017, I believe. But um, this talks, what is the Reformation? So 
So there's the five solus. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know what that is. So this is gonna be a great experience for me. So there's some history of the Reformation Study Bible. Igniting a Bible Study Reformation. So there we go. Study notes, drawn from centuries of church reflections. Another picture of R.C. Sproul. Theological notes from a lifetime of fruitful study. Um, I don't know if, if you don't know who R.C. Sproul is, um, and you have Spotify, or you can look it up on just the web too. But um, he, there's a podcast called Renewing Your Mind, and he has some just amazing things. I, I, really enjoy his he's got some awesome youtube videos um oh i missed a page there's the maps it talks about maps but he has some amazing youtube videos if you're curious about different topics and he goes into them with such knowledge and it's just really really great so there we go oh, there's some ebooks and stuff all right, so that's that. Now, let's see if I can get this down here good. All right, I'm excited. Here we go. <laughs> very, very nice leather texture here. Obviously, you can put who you presented it to and buy and on if you actually gave it to somebody as a gift, which would be an amazing gift. Some empty pages here. The Reformation Study Bible logo there. Here again, you all know that I'm a huge fan of the New King James Version, so. There's your table of contents. So you have, um, so we can get closer here. Boom. There we go. Alright. That should do it. Alright, so you've got theological notes, in-text maps and illustrations, introduction by R.C. Sprawl, um, contributors, preface to the New King James Version, and then your pages for where your stuff starts, Old Testament and New Testament. Stan's fighting me today. All right. Theological notes. Oh, wow. There's a lot in there. This is going to be very, very interesting. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to move the camera again. But so the creeds, confessions, and catechisms. So you got the Apostles' Creed. The Nicen Creed? Nicen Creed? I'm not even going to try and pronounce some of these, but um, I was told to read the Canons of Dort that that they were, uh, I forget exactly what it talks about, but it was, it, was a, it's a, it goes pretty deep into some, some heavy, heavy stuff. Um, and some stuff that's debated a lot. So there's introduction text maps, illustrations. All right, let's go ahead and get into um, there's the preface. Kind of tells you a little bit about um, the New King James and style and format. So words or phrases in italics indicate expressions in the original language which are which require a clarification by additional English words also done throughout the history of the King James Bible. There we go. Um, then typically along the bottom of the pages, um, sometimes you're going to see NU text and then M text. So that, um, you can read that there. It's just where they originate some of the text from. 
so different ways of, of interpreting um, the Bible. Center column notes, that's what's going to be in the center column as part of that there, so. All right, the Old Testament. Introduction to the Pentateuch, Pen Pentateuch, Pentateuch. I don't know. So the, here's something I learned already. So the first five books of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, commonly called the Law or the Pentateuch. So those are the first and most important section of the Old Testament in both Jewish and Christian Bibles. Interesting. Something new. So that talks about the Pentateuch. And then it looks like we're going to go straight into Genesis. So the first book of Moses called Genesis. So this is telling us a little bit about it, it appears. So Genesis 1. So here's how your Bible is going to be laid out. So you're going to have your verse up at the top. And then your study part of the, of the, the verses that's covered there. So like chapter 1 verse 2 states. Let me do this for you. There we go. So the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep and the spirit of God hovering over the face of the waters. And then you go down to here, the earth, the primordial earth is lightless and landless, neither the origins of darkness and the abyss nor the origin of Satan. As explained in Genesis, their beginnings are a mystery, but only God is eternal. In the new heaven and new earth, there will be no sea or darkness and it tells you, you know, Revelations 21 1 and 25 so that's kind of how it's going to be laid out so there's your verses and then there's more study um, to go along with them at the bottom so here we go so there's a in Genesis 11 down down here we have the migration of Abraham so he traveled 1500 miles how amazing is that? My goodness. So, very, very cool. I'm going to enjoy this Bible. I know it. I'm just going to flip through here. Another, another cool map. We're into Exodus now. See, this is the book of Samuel. So there that is. And then in the middle, it's got your reference verses, which you can see how it correlates to other verses of the Bible. Kings, Ezra, Job, Psalms. So it looks like we've got some notes here in the middle of, of Proverbs. So the omniscience of God. Isaiah. Let's get into the New Testament. All right. So here we are in the New Testament. I wasn't sure. I don't know if they... I don't believe the words are in red. Um, in this Bible. Yeah, so they're not in red. The words of Jesus. But I like how they have an introduction to each one to give you a little bit of no, you know, knowledge about the book. Um, so it tells you like who they think the author is, obviously, dates, roughly, genre, literary features. I like that a lot. All right, so let's get on. 
So, there we go, another map. So Paul's conversion and early ministry kind of shows where he traveled. Oh, there's another big map. There we go. Expansions of the early church in Palestine. I like pictures, people. <laughs> All right, so now it's the introduction. So we, we've gotten through um, the Gospels, uh, and now so an introduction to the Epistles. One of 27 books in the New Testament, 21 are, of the 27 books, sorry, 21 are letters written either to individual churches, groups of churches, or specific people. Two other books contain letters within them. So, a little bit about the epistles. All right. The epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Romans. Right. So here again, once you get into it, it's just kind of, because uh, I have another study Bible, but I've seen um, someone at Location X, uh, where I was just deployed at, they had the ESV version of this, and I was highly impressed with the layout um, and everything that it had to offer. <clears throat> and outlines, so there's the outline of Titus <clears throat> that we just finished reading. And then we also just finished up uh, reading Philemon or Philemon. So there you go. Roughly when Paul was in prison, AD 60. So if you recall, uh, the temple in Jerusalem was destroyed in AD 70. So this is 10 years before that occurred. All right, so let's get on past that. Hebrews, James, Peter, Revelation. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend some time in Revelation. Personally, it won't be on YouTube probably, but. All right. So then, after the book of Revelations, that's when you get into um, the other things that they offer in here. So the topical articles that was mentioned. So apologetics. Looks like there's quite a few pages of that. Maybe not. It's a new Bible, so it's hard to turn these pages. I'm sorry. Uh, the Bible in church history. So I'm sure I'm going to miss some things in here, but because I'm just flipping through the Bible versus other sacred text, that'll be an interesting read. I do want to read that for sure. Canonicity, basically, why are these the only books that are, are included in the New Testament versus um, some of the other ones, uh, uh, you know, like the Book of Enoch, um, the, the the Maccabees, um, some other stuff that was written. Um, covenant theology. This video is a little bit longer, but you know what? I don't care. It's all right. I want y'all to see this. Creeds and confessions. So there's that. Hermeneutics. Defined as the approach one takes to interpreting the biblical text. There we go. I had no idea what that word meant. The inerrancy inerrant of Holy Scripture states that the 60 books of the Old Testament and New Testament are the word of God written and thus are without error in all that they teach. Interpreting scripture by scripture. The New, Text uh, New Testament textual criticism. Old Testament textu textual criticism came and talk. Preaching of Reformation. 
Um, Martin Luther and John Calvin, those are the huge reformers for the, when they talk about the preaching of Reformation. More of the Reformation, talking about Martin Luther. That's when he posted his 95 uh, thesis for debate on the church door at Wittenberg, Germany. Worship. Okay, and now the creeds. Uh, creeds, confessions, and catechisms. Catechisms, whatever. So this is the one that most of you are, are familiar with um, in the church, the Apostles' Creed. So, um, so this one here, for example, um, the Holy Catholic Church, there's a little asterisk next to it, so you can go down to the word bottom here. This is the word Catholic refers to the universal church. So that's, I always wonder why they had that in there, because I'm not Catholic. <laughs> Uh, I have no idea what this creed is here, um, but I'll read that. Maybe I'll do a video on each of these creeds. Well, two of them. Um, the Chalcedon definition of the faith. Chalcedonian, I don't even know what that is. The Heidelberg Catechism. Again, don't know what that is, but I'm going to learn. And maybe we'll cover some of these things. I'm not sure if, if we'll do it on, on videos or not. The Belgic Confession, Article 1. There is only one God. Amen to that. Well, it's quite a few pages long. Okay. So... All right, so this, the Canons of Dort. First head of doctrine. Oh, this is where, okay, so this goes into um, if you believe in predestination or not. Um, I do believe um, that R.C. Sproul was um, a supporter and believer of divine predestination, so if you're not familiar with that, what that is, um, or if you have some questions or doubts about it, the Canons of Dort um, is what you want to read. And that is on page 2518 of this very large Bible. Still going. Oh, uh, <laughs> I didn't figure it would be a, <laughs> a short topic. Um, so ends on page 2,533. Again, I somewhat apologize for the duration of this video, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> Westminster Confession of Faith. Westminster Larger Catechism, Shorter Catechism, London Baptist Confession, and then we finally reach the Concordance. So if you're looking up a word um let's let's do one real fast so i say i want to look up i want to learn something about the trinity all right so let's just go to to the t's q r s t goes to tithe. All right, I'm gonna zoom out real quick while we're doing this. I don't wanna make you dizzy. And that's what I was curious about. So it
doesn't have Trinity in here. So there was another Bible that I was looking at, and it didn't have that topic covered either. Which leads to, if you're not following me, my um, podcast, that's listed down below, we're going to be doing a study on the Trinity. But anyways, um, so if you want to learn something about um, tongues, there you go. So there's the topics of tongues, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, and like a fiery torch. So if there's a topic that you're wanting to dig into that doesn't have to do with the Trinity, <laughs> you can use the concordance. I'm really curious. All right. So this right here, um, table of weights and measures. So when it talks about a talent or a shekel or a day's journey, right? Or a cubic. So a cubic is 18 inches. And monies, liquid measures, and then, oh wow, yes, and then maps. So there we go. So the map of Israel. All right, so. So that will wrap up uh, the unboxing and just basically just kind of going through this very big Bible, <laughs> the Reformation uh, Bible. R.C. Spoles is a general editor on this one again, and um, I'm very excited. So. Um, again, I know this video is going to be like almost 30 minutes long and I somewhat apologize for that, but not really. So, um, if you, um, are interested, like I said, I'll have a link to the Bible down below that you can pick it up on Amazon. That's where I got it. I'm sure it's available in many other places. If you choose to not support, um, uh, my links down below, you can pick it up at any of your local bookstores, I'm sure. So, um, anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed it. And from Central Texas, God bless. When life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this mess, he's right there to guide you, unseen you're not alone.